Um, it's like, I'm Don Corleone. Are you going to do the voice? I can't. Can I can't you? do the... I can't do the voice. No, I don't no, I'm nervous now, Matthew. I can't do it anymore. I couldn't do it before, though, but I can do it even less now. You turn up to my daughter's wedding. <laughs> just, just do Don Tony. Uh, do Fat Tony from The Simpsons. <laughs> it's basically Marlon Brando. You come to my board game night. You don't treat me with respect. You don't invite me to your house anymore. I'm the godfather of your daughter. I have a child. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> oh, let <Yeah>. me know. <laughs> okay, right, so let's be serious for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Never! I refuse! <laughs> All right. Where do you think you are right now? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're playing that with, we're we're playing with figurine gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I forgot what family I am. It I says it right there. Oh, yeah! Does it? Oh, no, it doesn't. That's yes, it. it does. Oh, yeah. Matazzano. Matazzaro. Yeah, I can't read that handwriting to oh, save my life. God. <laughs> yeah. Did you not wonder why I was like, oh, it says your name on the top. Yeah, but yours is in a legible handwriting. Look yeah. At, that's because Ma- 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 Matthews is in code. Look, that, I'm, What's I'm, my handwriting is terrible. Bazzino. Bazzino. Right, it is Bazzino as well, yeah. Ha, 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 do you have like a legible handwriting or something? Yeah, completely. Are you a doctor? <laughs> I, I've, I've got told I've got the handwriting of a doctor. <laughs> Whereas I have the handwriting of a six year old. <laughs> but it's legible. It's big and loopy. I don't want to be hearing anymore. And all and all is <laughs> <laughs> Just think pizzerino and take out the rough. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Ready City Play. Where we've been recording for two and a half minutes of utter nonsense. We're playing The Godfather, Corleone's Empire. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. Marlon Brando at his best. What was a good movie? I still so, uh, this, is, this game is based loosely on the first Godfather movie. Um, if you've not seen it and you're over 18, you should check it out. And if you're under 18, then uh, I didn't say anything. Is but it really an 18? It is, yeah. Really? The first Godfather? I think it is. If it's not, it might be moved down to a 15. Maybe. Yeah, it might be one of those ones where it's sort of like de escalated. Like the first Alien movie used to be an 18 and now it's a 15. I'm surprised that it's not a 12 at this point. The way the ratings have been falling, it's like <laughs> stuff just doesn't shock people well, anymore. Like, yeah, stuff came out like uh, True Blood and everything yeah. just kind of plummeted. Well, it's like even there, like, the scariest thing that probably happens in terms of shock is the horse's head. Don't and... say anymore. Spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> To be fair, we do have a horse's head token. Yeah, uh, there's going to be a horse's head involved. <laughs> but uh, this is sort of like, this takes place during the course of the first film and is divided into four acts that happen, sort of, that are based on the four acts of the movie. But it actually sort of uh, takes, it's sort of the events that take that you can assume were taking place in the background of the movie while all of those events with the Corleones are going on. So in this case, we've got all of the main families other than the Corleones families vying for control of territory and assets and businesses in New York City. And we're all going to take over uh, one of those families and play through those events here today. So hopefully you'll join us for Ollie, uh, who's going to be playing the Kakamos, and Matthew, who's going to be playing the Pizzinos, and I'm going to be the... The, <laughs> <laughs> the mad... Uh, ma, ma. I'm gonna. Mm, He's gonna butcher a name. I'm gonna be the Matzos. <laughs> so um, let's. Uh, we're we're all set. The game's all set up. We're gonna start dealing out some cards and figure out who's gonna go first. So this is a cool mini or not game. So it's actually um, got a lot of components and stuff. It's very well produced. But it's actually not a complicated game, as you'll know, probably from the rules explanation. And if you didn't catch that, then you can just learn as we go. So we're all set up. We've got our gangs here. We've got our thugs and our dawn. Some might say gangs of New York, but uh... but that would just be confusing because it's a completely different thing. I know. We've got our control tokens. So um, we've got our starting money here. One, uh, six dollars in small denominations. Back when it mattered. So the first thing that's going to happen is we are going to deal out some uh, public jobs so, and some allies. Public job number one. It's a car bomb. Ooh. Oh, that's a car bomb. Public job number that's two. That's a nasty one. Shakedown. 
shakedown. These are all the expensive jobs. Uh oh. Public job number three. Backroom deal. All right. So uh, in Car Bomb, you essentially set off a car bomb in one of these colored territories and blow up everyone in it. Shakedown allows you to shake down one of the um, businesses that's already been shaken down by someone else's thugs or your own thugs. You can just double down. And uh, the big deal with Shakedown is it gets you a $5 note, which is uh, very valuable. Mm. And finally, the backroom deal allows you to gain a bunch of money and then put a whole ton of money in your suitcase, which as we know from the rules explanation, is how you win, by getting money into your suitcase. So uh, we also deal out two job cards each to start with. Yep. So I will deal you those out and they will stay a mystery to me, except for these two, which I'll see. So what you've done there, all is... Uh created a diversive issue. Oh, because I did two at a time. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be like, hey, you didn't do it right. <sighs> well, I'll do it again if you like. If it's going to be that diversive. I, diversive. I personally, where I stand on this issue is uh, position of apathy. <laughs> I like that position. It's a very popular one. <laughs> I'm wondering what happened. Matthew's very, Matthew's very <laughs> quiet because he might have two very good jobs and he's like, well, I don't want to get rid of these. It's up to you guys. If you, uh, if you, no, it's uh, absolutely uh, okay. Sorry. I don't like mine. Let's go again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should probably read those closer. Uh, and we've we've had to tell Mike again. No peripheral vision. Yeah, okay. peripheral vision. Yeah, oh, Matthew, I'm afraid you can't move. So you're going oh, yeah, to screw my shots. You're going to have to sit like this or do what you were doing in like Blood Bowl or whatever. It wasn't, it was, uh, yeah, well, one minute on Blood Bowl, I was doing yeah. that, and then... How does that affect peripheral vision? If you're looking up or oh, straight no, no, forward? if you're looking sort of upwards, I can't see if his hand's there. Ah, okay. But, so, yeah. so here we've got uh, our first ally for Act 1. It's the Union Boss. Ooh. So he can be used as sort of an extra piece to go and shake down businesses, and um, also he creates neutral influence, which can be used to reduce the influence of other families. Well, yes. of all families, actually. Our second one is the mayor. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. Two neutral characters coming out right at the start. We are starting off very heavily political in this one, aren't we? Yeah. Unions and the mayor. So that's our Act 1 cards. And um, looks like... I think we're all ready. Oh, we yeah, have to decide who's going to have the yep. horse's head. So who's going to be the first player? Shall we do a traditional Swazi check? Yeah, no, we'll do a Swazi check. That's becoming our thing. It says in the rule book... Um, that uh, it's whoever last watched The Godfather. Mm. But seeing as we all had a look at it earlier, I think that we can't use that now. So, everyone ready? Yep. Here we go. Color order. Duh. Just put your finger on it. Um, and then it's broken. Why is it broken? <laughs> and then it doesn't detect a hand. Um, Did I press the wrong bit? No. No. Let's try again. One. Doesn't two, know how to schwaz Three. There we go. It was that. I'm pink. I'm white. Wait a minute. Uh, it's picked us all. I think it just didn't register the first time. That's why it's confusing me. Let's try again. <sighs> this is exciting, riveting stuff. Here we go. Now it's working. I'm blue. I like blue. Oh, look at that. Uh, blue, that fix. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Who did you pay? Who you did you pay? pink as well, didn't you? Yeah. That was weird, but you had yellow. I Who did yellow. you bribe? Um, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Steve Jobs. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go first. And the first thing that happens on the first phase of Act 1, The Wedding, is we get a new business opening in New York, here at Wall Street. And today's new business is going to be Penn Central Railroad. Oh, this is a really good one. I like this one a lot. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, Um, it's exactly the same. Yeah. In the same area. Oh, damn it. (laughs) So if you uh, take a look at that. So Wall Street's going to be very useful to control. (laughs) Hmm. Well, do you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to just... <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. He's being ever so polite. I'm just relying on my inability to see even at close range. I'm going to take a big gamble here, and I'm actually going to go and place my Dawn straight away. Bam! Yeah. Because I just want to uh, get some really good jobs in hand. So that'll be four jobs, won't it? Because I wasn't lying when I said I didn't like the ones I had. <laughs> I'm also going to collect a gun card here, which is an item I can use to do jobs with. And I'm going to put this uh, $3 bill into my suitcase. Your four jobs. Whoops. Uh, there's my um, four jobs. Just uh, dropped a card. Did you pick up your two dollars? Uh, no, I don't get that because that's oh, uh, for the shaking yeah. down the front yeah, yeah. of the business. With yeah, and I'm shaking down the back of the business. So this is going to go into Important my suitcase. distinction. I need to remember. 
Woo! Get, get, get in there. Get in my suitcase. Don't make me call customs on you. Hmm. You know I will. Okay, so is it, oh you have God. to decide what you want to do, don't you? Uh, I get to go. All right, well, I will discard these two shakedowns. Uh-oh. Okay, so my turn? Yeah. Over to Matthew. I am now going to put one of my fucks into the uh, gun dealership. Thank you. For those of you yelling at the screen, sorry, yes, we're now into the family business set. <laughs> Why do I think you're driving that car? It's a police car, actually. You just can't tell because I didn't pay any of the minis. I was going to, but I don't have time. I'm just deeply depressed by you not painting minis. Yeah, I know. I think it'd be neat. It'd mm. probably look really good, too. Probably. Not not if I did it, but, you know, if someone did it. If, so, if someone who could paint did it, <laughs> you know. That would sounded a lot harsher than I realized it was going to. But you know what? Double down. Just double down, yeah. Just make it worse. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put my thug in Brooklyn for the Korean laundry. Take me some illicit money. Yeah, we didn't. We couldn't decide if that was laundered money or dirty money. Um, I'm pretty sure it's dirty money. I think it's we're British. Maybe we can just call it bloody blood money. money. <laughs> yeah, blood money. Blood money. Blood money with strings attached. I have to admit, I, 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 I do find it funny. I, I see you went into the gun dealership, didn't yes. you, Matthew? Yes. All right. 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 Yes. <laughs> you know you wanted to. I'm not going to. <laughs> you know you wanted to. So, this is tough, you guys. Oh, I know. It's amazing when we did the friendly game earlier. And we <laughs> and now we're already going like, what can I do? What can I do? <laughs> You're ending up in the Hudson. <laughs> Everybody's ending up in the Hudson. I do love the I love the fact though that when the round goes to the next one, all of your guys from the Hudson suddenly turn back up. It's like I bought some, I got some booze. Well, I guess it's assumed that your family members are fish just you out. Uh, yeah, are just well the family members are wounded and I guess the feds are just like faceless mooks that can be replaced. Oh, my faceless mook. <laughs> Poor faceless mook. I was that all this that much pollution in the river is performing miracles. There's a drought. <laughs> there's, there's a drought this year. Oh, yeah. It's a dry river. They're literally just popping you into it, going in six months when it rains again. <laughs> My turn. Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm actually looking what I'm going to be doing at this minute. Um, done. Done. I'm going to spend my one gun because I have gunned down one thug. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Take the cannoli. And I'm actually going to go for Mike's. Yeah. Come on, man. It was not um, because I'm trying to just be... So I also get a $3. And that goes into that the suitcase. That goes into my little... Uh, nice dick in I do have to say, I do like this. The suitcases? Yeah, I do. They are really high yeah. quality. I was, I was surprised this wasn't the Kickstarter variant. There was no Kickstarter for this. No, but uh, when when we looked at it, because normally this sort of stuff is Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Hmm? That's a bit yeah. surprising for Call Me. Not, not well, I think they, but they mostly launch their big games on yeah. that. They don't, like Ethnos didn't have a cool Kickstarter either. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Massive Dog, or right? Massive Dog. Was um, what am I going to do? I thought Max, Massive Dog was did have one. It did. It was massive. <laughs> um, was it as big as Rising Sun? I don't think it was, actually. I think someone was enormous. Was it? As a Kickstarter, yeah. Ah. Okay, I'm going to put my Dom down here. So I'm going to grab myself a gun. And I'm going to also bank two things. So, money! Into that bad idea. Yep, done, Mike. Hmm. We have ways of making you talk. Well, I'm going to, uh... You're going to, uh... I'm going to, uh, use take the cannoli as well. Damn it! And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to gun down... Um... I'm actually going to gun down all these men in Brooklyn here. Damn it! Sorry, Ali. No, you're not. I'm a bit. No, you're not. <laughs> a little bit. No, you're not. A little bit. No, you're not. <laughs> Matthew right. I'm hmm. I 
like, I have to do something, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's no passing in The Godfather. Yeah. Well, there is, just not very well. Okay, I'm actually going to put him there. Okay. Okay, so I then take a gun. Yep. I you can bank something. I'm then going to bank my... Three? Three dollars, yeah, in and the bank. Into the bank. You're rich. Not that rich, but... But. <laughs> right, so... Yeah. That's me. So okay. your turn. So what am I going to do? I am. See, I'm kind of tempted because you have sort of effortlessly screwed up the thing I was going to do, Mike. That's but, not what you're talking about. Well, assassinating my henchman, always a way forward. Uh, so I was kind of tempted to take over Chelsea because then I'll have two guys there and there's no one else that can be put down because you guys just have thugs left. But you probably also have things that will kill me, so... No, probably not. Mm. He twitched. I really don't yeah. believe him. <laughs> My nose itches. <laughs> okay, hands up who believes that statement. I'm not saying nothing. There we go. It mm-hmm. happens. <laughs> I'm going to the family bar. You actually beat me where I wanted to go. Um... Hmm... Mm. Do. I dislike the fact that I went last and both of you guys still have guys left. <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn is strong to control. Thanks. That was my intention. So is Upper West Side because those are where you get the items. Yeah. That's why they're strong. Do, do, do. He's mm. thinking about strategy, but not really. I really doubt that this I'm p- hungry. <laughs> looking, what a time looking at cards. Is like the... Looking at cards. He's got some very sure fine plan cigarette. in his head. <laughs> or actually he's going, don't know what I'm doing. How come I don't have a cat? <laughs> it's like your agreement to tendency, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, I do find it funny. I really hope there's an outtake somewhere of the Godfather where Marlon Reddo is stroking the cat and the cat just goes nuts. Just properly goes for it. I'm like, uh, so I think this is what I'm going to do, even though I'm not sure if it's my best play. So we're going to go here. We're going to suitcase. Some money. Yes, it is money. I'm going to suitcase this. A three dollars. I do find it funny that there's... It's obviously... Way back when, when money was worth more, but yeah. like your basic unit of currency, one dollar can buy you so much. Mm. Uh, back in the day, when like ten thousand pounds could, pro- uh, in the eighties, ten thousand pounds could get you a flat, if not. not Stop depressing bad. me. My student, <laughs> my student loan is more than that, and the only way I'm getting a flat out of that is if I actually get flattened. Over to Matthew. Right. Mm. So I'm half sort of thinking. Uh, and, you know, that's dangerous to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half sort of thinking. But what I'm half sort of thinking is, screw you. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to move there. Yeah, I had a feeling you were going for that. So, thank you for the whole set. Boo. Normally you don't thank someone for that. <laughs> Boo. So that okay. Well, that's everyone's people down. So, uh, mm-hmm. we move on to the next phase. Okay, turf four, turf four, turf four. Vroom! Okay, so so that's all we've got time for today. Oh, um, we took care of the family business. It took all day, so we're gonna have to come back tomorrow. Well, you can probably tell from what's on the board who's won the turf war, but we're gonna make it official tomorrow, and um, you know, and then we'll crack on with the bribery of the main of the city officials, the main event. Yeah, and then we'll <laughs> be back to family business. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>